Hello, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to a Primark haul. This is a really big, rather large Primark haul here. We have, uh, mine was 110 and my sister's was 58. So we've got 170 pounds worth of stuff here that we wanted to show you from Primark. We've got shoes and homeware and clothing. We've also got the little knickknacks as well. The homeware is amazing right now. There's such good things at Primark Home if you've not been. So let me start off over here. We've got these trainer socks for £2.50 for seven pairs in both black and white. They are heel and toe low cut trainer socks for £2.50 a piece. Also some face cloths. They were £2.50 as well for three. And then some tights, which were £4.50 for three pairs. And then we got this belt here. Well, my sister did. It's actually really nice. I didn't see this. It won't fit me anyway. It's <laughs> it won't go around me, but it's really nice. Um, it's a black belt. And then it's got this gold buckle, this jewel buckle. That's really pretty. That was £4. My sister also picked up two of these bowls. She brought me these bowls uh, in December last year and I love mine. So she got two for herself. They make great cereal bowls because they're so deep. Well, technically, I think they're like pasta bowls, but I love a good big cereal bowl if I have cereal for dinner. And these are perfect for that. They are £3.50 per bowl and they are really pretty. They're like speckled and grey and they're a little bit misshapen, um, but I love that edging. They're absolutely beautiful. So she got two of those. She also picked up some jeans for herself and also a bath towel. So that is everything that she got. The bath towel was seven pound, which I think is a really good price. It's fairly big, 70 by 127 for seven pound and it matches the face cloths. And I like that. I like to have matching sets. So that is everything that she got. I then picked up some leggings, just the four pound leggings here, just the standard black ones. I also got a few, oh, let me do clothes first. I did pick up, now I didn't really wear trainers. I think I got these because my sister did and I didn't want to feel left out. So I got some heel and toe low cut trainer socks for myself. These will just be in my drawer and I'll probably never see them again, but they were two pound 50. So I felt like they were a little bargain. I also got two t-shirts. I love the t-shirts at Primark. They're, I buy quite a lot of them actually. They're always really good value. This was six pound and it's just a long line blue one, but I really like the pattern on it. So the little writing, it's just a Paris one. Um, and I quite like the color actually. I don't think I have anything in this like royal blue with the white writing. I think they're quite pretty colors together, but it's just a short sleeved, very basic long t-shirt. Goes right past your knee. So it's great to pair with leggings and it was only six pound. So I thought, that was a good price and the same style of t-shirt I also got it in green because I loved this color I keep seeing this color everywhere in all different shops this spring it's a real spring color so again the same style the same price the same size uh, same length and it's just a nice green with a little bit of green and white writing on but they are just very basic short sleeved t-shirts and to be honest, you can't go wrong with them. I wear a lot of them a lot of the time. So that is my, oh no, one more piece of clothing. I also got some pyjamas. I just wanted some like casual cotton pyjamas. I've not bought new pyjamas in ages. So I got these stripy little shorts here, which you can see elasticated and they just have a little frill at the leg. And then it just comes with a matching t-shirt. It's just a strap cami, very basic, very cheap, but perfect for what I need. And the set of these pyjamas were seven pound. And I think you can't go wrong with that. That is a really good price point for two uh, pieces of items. So the shorts and the t-shirt. So that is all of the clothing that we picked up. We did get a bunch of shoes, which I will show you at the end. I'm going to take you through to the homeware because the homeware is amazing right now. They had some real nice things. So I needed some drawer knobs. So I picked up this set here for £3. I thought these were beautiful. They're a little bit shiny. They're pink. They are really pretty. They've got a gold back in. So I got these and then I couldn't decide whether I wanted to keep those 
or go for some bigger ones for my um, drawer upstairs. So I kind of got both because they're so cheap and obviously I can use them, you know, again and again. They're not gonna, they're gonna last forever. They're like solid metal. Um, these were four pound, the bigger ones, but these are huge in comparison, but I think they look quite striking. They're like a creamy pearl color. And that's the kind of colour of my lounge, like lots of creams and whites. So I think these might look quite nice as well. So I'll decide which ones I put up, but I just couldn't resist them. I thought these were beautiful. £4 and then they were 3 I also got a bunch of smelly stuff because that's what I buy from Primark. I think you can't go wrong to put these into your wardrobe. And these are so cheap. They are a pound each. So I picked up the Jasmine and Gardenia, which I've not smelt, but I'm sure it's gonna be just amazing. I also got some white Jasmine and Lotus flower. There's two sachets here. I'm not sure, oh, one of these, is one of these for you? No. I thought my sister had picked up some, put the knobs back. <laughs> um, so two of the Jasmine and Lotus flower sachets, and then another of the jasmine and gardenia these make really good sense to put into your drawers or wardrobes even your shoe cupboard even on the entryway into your house where your coats hang they just add a nice little freshness to a space especially a space with a closing door they don't last forever um i would say probably like a month max but they're only a pound so i feel like it's a good bargain you get in so i got four of those i also got this because i could not resist it it's just a little basic jug it was two pound it's got it's got the pint um, metric thing there and then i think this one is in mills but the thing that i liked about it is it had a pink handle i think it's super cute in the kitchen so i picked it up for two pound and then for in the kitchen i also found these and i thought these were so beautiful they are just floral tumblers they are absolutely gorgeous they've got like the flower meadow pattern on they're five pound for two but I was looking at some tumblers in Asda and they were £10 for four, very similar to these. So I think £5 for two is a good price point, but they're stunning. Look at the pattern on that glass. It's just so beautiful. So I'm very excited to get these out and have these in my cupboard. So I picked up two of those, well, one box. And then I also got some more mugs because I like to buy a mug wherever I go. <laughs> um, these ones, I really love the style of. I thought this was my aesthetic to a T, especially in the kitchen. I've got a lot of like creams and wooden stuff and this is gonna go perfectly in here. So these were £3.50 for one. It's a decent hang handle and it's an actual decent size mug, but it's the look of it that just like drew me to it. It's like a pottery mug. It's really beautiful. So I got two of those for us because I just can't resist a good mug. <laughs> um, and then I also, for my, there you go, you can see the extra virgin olive oil at the back there. I wanted something to have on in the kitchen that was a bit fancier. You'll know that I have a lot of storage jars and things like that in the kitchen that house my goodies in. So I thought a like, nice little fancy bottle for the olive oil would be the way to go. And I saw this at Primark. This was two pound. It's got a little cork lid that you just pop in and out. It's got the pour up bit at the end as well. So you can pour your oil directly into where you need it to go. And obviously it's got a handle and I think it's super cute. So I'm gonna wash this and then put olive oil in it and have it just on the side at the back there. And I think it will look really nice in our kitchen. So I got one of those. I then picked up some things for our bedroom. So on our bedside um, cabinet, bedside tables, We've, I wanted something quite small just to like aesthetically look nice. Um, so I went for some like white ceramic or like clay type things there. And I found this set here. So these are four pound for the tall ones at the back. And then the smaller ones were two pound 50 a piece. And we went to B&M just after here. And in fact, I've got a B&M haul, so I'll film that later. But we went to B&M and we saw these very similar in B&M for four pound. So I feel like we paid the right price for them at, at Primark. Um, so I got two of the little dome shapes. I just thought they looked really nice on the bedside table next to the canvas print at the back. They're gonna look stunning. So I got two of those, although that's got a bit of mud on, so I need to do something with that. <laughs> um, and then I got two of the large ones at the back there, the thin, large shape here and it's just purely for aesthetic i don't even know what you would call these but they are super pretty so i picked up matching sets for us for in the bedroom 
and then I also got this tree now this tree has been an absolute nightmare it didn't even fit in the counter bit where you pay she couldn't get it through the screen thing she had to like try and slide it under with just the label and then I had to carry it all the way home um, to the car park through the city centre. And then when I got to the car park, the branches had fallen off the tree. <laughs> and to be honest, when I was in Primark, I kept just like thinking, do I get it? Do I not? It's £18. I don't know whether to buy it or not. And then obviously I did. And I got it to the car and there's like holes if you can see in the trunk where the branches should go so i think some more branches have either fallen off or they were just never on there in the first place so i just don't know <laughs> it's just a big regretful purchase it does look so pretty it's quite like a midi size tree it's not a huge one but it's also not a small um it's in this beautiful pot as well it's really nice to look at like aesthetically it's quite fake like you can tell that the leaves are like quite papery but i think it's a really nice tree for 18 pound it's just that the quality of it is quite poor like upon closer inspection and i think because i've seen it amongst a bunch of other stuff at primark i didn't really see you know like the quality of it i was just comparing it to the other trees but i love the trunk i think the trunk is beautiful i love the base i think this part is really stunning as well like the cream the the trunk going all the way up it looks quite like quite pretty until you get to the leaves but then it's just got these massive holes in it um where the branches should go so yeah it was 18 pound it's gonna stay with me it's an hour away from a primark where i live so you know i don't want to go back to primark just to take it back for an hour um an hour's drive so i'll keep it but slightly disappointed with the tree <laughs> i mean it's my fault i should have looked at it up close in the store but slightly disappointed anyway and then to finish off the haul i also picked up these shoes i put them on the chair because my dad would go mad at me if i put them on the countertop he's like it's, he says it brings bad luck to put shoes on a table or the countertop so i've put them on the chair just in case my mum watches this and then tells me off <laughs> Um, but these are the shoes that we got. So three of the pairs are mine. One of them is for my sister. My sister's a lot more trendy than me. So these were £10 for her. And they're like like welly, welly bobs. Like They're like a welly material at, that, that goes up the calf. But the actual boot is like a, a fake leather but they're really pretty like they they look lovely they look really stylish and they were only 10 pound they've got a chunky sole um they're just pull on like to get past your calf but they're quite like weighted at the bottom um so i think they'll last a while and they're a lovely color there's it's a really nice color that she's chose so she got those for 10 pound for her and then you know i would like to be able to wear those but this these are the shoes <laughs> these are the shoes that i actually wear um so i got some pumps because we're going into spring and some fresh white pumps with spring dresses is just perfect like pairing i think so they were eight pound which i thought had that did gone up in price i remember primark pumps used to be four pounds so i was a bit shocked at that and then i also bought some of these like fake loafer type things um these are the shoes that i like to wear they are ten pound for a pair so i got some some light brown ones because i've got a bunch of other colors but i've not got any brown ones left my other ones like felt a bit so they were like so old so i took those away but these are really comfortable and you can go with like black trousers for work or like jeans or whatever and then i also went a little bit wild in the aisles and got some blue shoes i don't think i've ever owned a pair of blue shoes but i really liked these they're not as soft as the loafers um they're like a leathery type material but they are so pretty they were only eight pounds so they were a little bit cheaper we've got a nice little bar design on the top there and they are quite thin but you know i'm not going to go walking miles in them so they're perfect for what i need and that brings an end to the primark haul that's everything that we bought the homeware is amazing as ever it's really it looks so good right now the homeware at primark the clothes not so much i think that they're in between seasons they've not really brought out the summer stuff at the one i was at or spring um i know it's only february but they've not brought out any like spring dresses or anything and like matalan and asda and new look and stuff are, are bringing theirs out so i was a little surprised not to see any but i suppose we've not got through the april showers yet have we <laughs> or the snow we used to get in march um but yeah so that brings an end to the primark haul thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing what we brought thanks for watching take care stay safe and i'll see you on the next video Bye.